What up, what up, what up, what up, y'all? I'm back with another classic. We got the beautiful ports in Long Beach right now. I got a quick little load for you guys. Got to go pick up this loaded container and drop it off in the uh, city of industry. So uh, make sure you guys hit that like and subscribe button. I'm going to keep this content coming for you guys. Got a lot of stuff to teach you and a lot of stuff to go over with you guys in the next few months. Uh, I, even though the rates are low, hopefully when the new year hits, the rates is going to go up. Y'all, you know what I'm saying? They can't stay low forever. Let's get it. So we at Mersk right now. Been here for a minute. We just waiting to get inside. A lot of drivers uh, been having problems at the pedestals. Uh, it's been getting a little funky here at Mersk. I remember one time uh, I came at Merce, probably like five years ago, when they uh, had the new computer system. It took like, literally like six hours be to get inside the terminal and they were sending everybody to the trouble window because the stuff wasn't working. Then like another four hours probably to get seen by somebody from the trouble window. The ports was a mess, but they got everything back in order. So uh, usually when I come here to MERS, they scan the license plates, we in and out. You know, that's how I like it. You know, a lot of drivers, they don't have their information together. That's why it takes them a little longer at the pedestals. But always, uh, we, when you guys come to the ports, you should have all your stuff in your phone or write it all down. Get, go up there, give me your SCAT code. Let them know what you're doing. Empty in, empty container in. I'm dropping off empty. I want a bobtail out. Or I'm bobtailing in here. I want to pick up a, a loaded container. Uh, give them the SCAT code uh, and do what you got to do. Give them the uh, container number. Give them the container number if they're asking for a loaded container. Give them the loaded container number if you're picking up a loaded container. And sometimes they ask for a pin when you go to some of these ports. But most of the time when I'm going to the ports, they scan the license plates, I'm in and out. So we're gonna see what happens here. I've been here already over 30 minutes. I'm trying to get a body here in the next 45 minutes to beat the traffic because I don't want to be stuck on nobody's freeway today. I got some things to handle. I hate being stuck on the freeway. It sucks. It really sucks sometimes. It's gonna take about two and a half hours already to get back to the Inland Empire, but uh, we gonna see what's gonna happen, y'all. Let's get it. See, uh, one more thing. See, this guy's in front of me, he's bobtail. He's not even supposed to be over here. He's supposed to be way over there in the bobtail lane. So he just like uh, wasted a gang of time in here with us where all the empty containers are going, loaded containers, and people that have chassis when they have a whole bobtail line over there and probably nobody even over there. He would have been already in there, probably to uh, found a chassis already and probably been out. But he just probably wasted 30 plus minutes because he was here before I got here. So he waited, probably was here about 20, 30 more minutes before I was. So he wasted close to an hour already just waiting in line doing nothing. And time is everything when you guys get in these ports. So when you get in these ports, you guys gotta know how to move and groove, you feel me? You gotta know how to maneuver around these ports. And always, if you guys are the first time coming to the ports, always go inside the tr trouble window, go over to the trouble window and get a map. If they don't give you a physical map, they'll have a picture of the map on the trouble window you can take a picture of it and it's gonna be easier for you to find your locations. And also, ask the other drivers where your spot is. Don't never be too ashamed to ask the driver where your spot is or let them know you need help or something, like where the chassis are. Because a lot of people, you come here for the first time and you don't know where nothing is, it's gonna take you a few hours to figure everything out. And it's gonna suck if you get trapped then they go on lunch then you wasted a whole damn day on one load like you gotta know how to maneuver around these ports to be successful and make decent money here y'all
It's been, it's been kind of cold in the morning when I, by the time I get to work, but then during the day, it gets super duper hot. And it hasn't been cloudy this week. It's actually been clear all week. So the sun is just beaming on me. Uh, you kind of get used to it every now and then, but sometimes like today I'm tired. So it's irritating and uh, my eyes are getting more sensitive to the sunlight for some reason today. But every time I think about it, I remember I should get my sunglasses, but I think I'm gonna go stop when I get off of work today and go pick up some sunglasses. But then when every time I buy sunglasses, I leave them at home, I lose them. My kid breaks them, like, it sucks sometimes, but I'm gonna start keeping a pair of sunglasses in the truck because the uh, sun is getting irritating. I don't mind when it's uh, a little cloudy outside and we got overcast. It makes it a little cooler out here in Southern California. I like wearing sweaters even when it's warm. You know, because uh, it protects my skin from the sun. I don't like getting sunburned. I got sensitive skin too, so you got to protect yourself out here. You know, you even I even put uh, sunscreen on my face and everything sometimes. But I don't want to I want to get no sunburns out here. So the, this guy finally got his uh, low his ticket. So let's go up here and see what's going to happen with us. All right, so we're just pulling up. I think it should be coming out. I guess not. I, I lied, it came out, y'all. So let's get it. All right, y'all, so we have merch. There's where the trouble window is at. Right when you come in. So if you ever get lost, boom, just go over there. And we are going to the lane exchange. So it's gonna be fun for us. Hopefully it's not a long ride at the lane exchange. So we got a long line with the lane exchange. Looks like we're gonna be here a while. Hopefully no more than an hour. Well, let's see what happens. So if you look to the right of us right here, it looks like they're building more lane exchanges, if I'm not mistaken. The way the setup is, uh, they might be switching everything to be uh, more automotive. This line is moving super slow, y'all. I gotta get off of work to beat this Friday traffic. I don't wanna be stuck in no bumper bumper traffic on a Friday. You know, it's never fun. It's, it really sucks, you know, especially coming all the way from Long Beach. Then we gotta get towards the Inland Empire. It takes like three hours. Thursday's been pretty bad too, you know. I don't understand what's been going on on Thursdays, but Thursdays are starting to be the same as Fridays now doing this like if you don't get over the freeway past like one two o'clock the latest then you're gonna be sitting in traffic you know and you never know what you expect to expect at these ports you know some days you come in the ports you can't do no wrong you get in drop your empty out grab your container and you out there joining 30 minutes but it looks like it's uh, a little more loads been popping up for everybody because it's kind of a little busy here today. Usually when I've been coming to Merce, it hasn't been so busy. But we'll see what happens because I got to get up out of here real quick. But if you guys look over here to the right of us, it looks like they're building more exchange lanes. So it looks like the ports over here at Merce, 
this terminal is gonna be switching everything up and uh, gonna have more robots grabbing empties and giving us loads right now because usually, you know, when I first was coming here, back in the day, they didn't have no lane exchange. Everything would just go to your spot, drop the empty off, go to your spot, pick up your loaded container. So now it's like they're building is they're doing it pretty fast too. So we're gonna see by New Year, this port is gonna be way different than what it was. And that's what I don't understand. I'm being like, now I see who's making all the damn money, the ports, because the drivers ain't making all the money. Businesses is shutting down, but they're remodeling the uh, this terminal right here. They need to uh, invest in fixing those roads too, because some of these roads are a mess. This is this exchange lane is pretty uh pretty long. So probably what's gonna happen is now you come in here, scan your ticket, and they're gonna start sending people straight to the exchange lane. So if it's less people if it's less people grabbing empty containers and giving us the lotus containers, then are they gonna start replacing the the union workers too? Or are they gonna they're gonna have them do something else. It's gonna be uh, interesting to see what happens in the next few months, y'all. So as we get a little farther up, you can see how this area up here is coming along a little better. See how they got the dividers up there already? This is Merch, y'all. Everything's going to switch in the next few years. So I know if the ports are going to switch up their thing that they got going on, I'm pretty sure it's going to be new laws and rules on the emissions and uh, the trucks and everything. So uh, it's going gonna, gonna, to be crazy how the world is going to turn out. Because you know in, uh, what, 2035, they don't want to sell no more gas running vehicles in California so I want to know what they're going to do for the rigs. Is, are they going to make all the rigs turn over and be um, electric as well? Are they going to be okay with the rigs still getting fuel and stuff? But we going to find out real soon. As you can see they're building them lane exchanges over there pretty quick. I don't remember seeing this, uh, what, a month ago, probably when I was last over here. That's crazy. Last time I was over here, I don't remember seeing none of this stuff up. They're, they're, they build pretty fast over here at these ports. The line's moving pretty quickly, but we'll see. I got some action for y'all when we go over here it's so you guys can see how these uh, robots be grabbing these containers for us, for those who've never seen this before. It's a pretty cool sight. So this side looks like it has a few of them open already over here. I think this is uh, Zone C. So Zone C is... Uh, opening a few of the lanes for drivers and that's why they're going so slow but up here where I'm going they have a little more lanes so we're not moving as slow as them alright y'all we're waiting for them to come bring us our container look how clear it is outside alright y'all just chilling right now, waiting for them to give us our uh, container. Always got to keep a safety vest on when you at the ports. They will kick you out and ban you if you don't got your safety vest on. They will fine you a hundred dollar fine, all kind of stuff. So make sure y'all here, y'all keep these little vests on. 
You know, I know, I know they don't look good on you, but we just gotta wear it and do what we gotta do. So we're just waiting for them to uh, come and drop the container off that we'll be getting up out of here. So as you guys can see, we got a lot of action at the course today. For all who don't know, those big tall things way over there, that's where they uh, take the containers off the vessels. come here if you don't park straight then they don't drop them off right away they gotta try to figure out and line it up with the computer anytime you see that container you know that's money calling y'all they gave me a old container too so. All rusted. Alright y'all, I had to drop a quick little video for y'all. Make sure I hit that like and subscribe button, comment, let me know what you guys think of the video. Let me know what you guys want to video on next. Let's get it.